Welcome back, everybody. And here we have Emu Bub hanging out at the library. And as you can see, he was not successful in trying to steal that computer. Don't know why he's trying to steal a computer. He doesn't even have electricity at home. He lives off the grid. And as you see, this library patron is like responding, going, oh, what the heck are you doing, dude? Anywho, Emu is going to just hone his programming skills because his intent is really to try to rob a bank. I think he's going to hack into somebody's account or something like that. I don't know. He was whispering something about hacktivism, the true activism in which he actually hacks people's account and take their money and put it into his account. But I don't think his programming skills are quite yet there. So instead of doing that, I think what he's going to do is just kind of harass people online. Just troll the forums, maybe be sent out some chain letters or two you know emu <laughs> he's either talking to his friends or he's causing chaos those are his two speeds he's either talking to his friends or he's causing chaos and i guess he's going to cause some chaos because he's sending out chain letters this dude just wants to be the chief of mischief so let's just go ahead and see if he's going to be successful <laughs> in causing chaos <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be successful in causing chaos, but he's at least going to rankle some nerves of a few people. <laughs> at least, <laughs> at least the people that he's sending the chain letters to. I think she said something about dying in a fire. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't really care. He's going to send out some more chain letters. I don't know, maybe somebody will actually read the chain letter, believe what he wrote, and send him some money. I don't know. I don't understand what his end game is here, but I think he's trying to either get on people's nerves <laughs> or actually get them to give him some money, or I don't know. So anyway, he pretty much spent the entire afternoon at the library while Stubb was um, in school and Stubb is out of school. He's going to join Emu at the library. Both of these guys are exhausted. So what they're going to do is just drink a potion to kind of stay awake. Stubb needs to be awake anyway because he's got a lot of homework to do. Emu, he can actually take a nap. He doesn't even have a job. <laughs> he's going to join Stubb and drink a potion as well and kind of stay up with him um, in the afternoon. And so basically he's just gonna go ahead and drink this potion <laughs> and get energized. Yeah, so I guess um, he's really energized because he decided to meet up at the Shrieking Llama with his club, The Mischief. Let's <laughs> see what kind of additional mayhem he can get up to here because he didn't really cause too much mayhem at the library. But you never know what these people get up to. I mean, the last time at the bowling alley, it was an all-out brawl. <laughs> and the club is now infamous. <laughs> Everybody is reacting to the club leader like, oh my God, and they're in the club. <laughs> the club members are reacting to the club leader. Oh, wow. Okay, dude's wife just showed up. Lily Fang just decided to show up and catch up with her husband at the bar. I guess he didn't get permission to go out tonight. His homegirl is like showed up and she's reacting to the entire club. <laughs> and Emu is just going to go ahead and decide to mix some alcohol with the ambient he just took. I don't know how that's going to work out. The land grab sisters of the gun to get into a brawl. <laughs> this club is a trip. <laughs> What's going on with the land grabs? Griba, <laughs> huh? Oh, I guess it's all good. That's just how they greet each other. Emu is standing over there in the corner looking like he's lost. <laughs> he don't understand what's happening right now. But I guess he's going to go ahead and get his drink. Nope, he's, he's hanging out with Victor. 
Flexing. Chit chat with Victor and Lily is just like making friends at yes. the bar, Chiffer. keeping tabs on her man. I don't even understand why. Oh my gosh, they're playing it! <laughs> She's red because they are sisters. <laughs> oh, these girls have a way of working out their differences. <laughs> Having a fight club at the bar. They got kicked out in the last bar. I don't think they're welcome at the bowling alley anymore. And <laughs> now they're not going to be welcome at the Shrieky Llama. <laughs> but I don't know. The bartender is kind of like taking it all in stride. I mean, they're the only ones there tonight except for, you know, a couple of other people. They are. I guess Nancy won that fight. <laughs> and Nina went and sat down. I don't know if Emu is making a friend or making enemies. Vic is uh, chatting with his wife. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't think he was successful in trying to scare his wife. I mean, she's not terrified of him at all. Oh, poor Stubb is uncomfortable. Yeah, so he's gonna have to just take care of his own needs at the library, dude. Cause we, this is like Eru's night. He's still focused from the library, though. Yeah, he's going to the bathroom. I guess that uh, ambient and alcohol was kicking in, huh? Well, ambient. Whatever it is that Keeps them no, Ambien puts you to sleep, doesn't it? He didn't take. Yeah, but he took some kind of amphetamine to stay awake. <laughs> Pick it out, fish. Hemba bleed? Huh? Oh, panadiola. Look at another brawl. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I guess it is Fight Club tonight. <laughs> about voodoo dolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's sleepy? Yeah, I guess. I yeah, guess he'll be sleepy boo. after all of that. Kazi Fanark. Oh, Bambufa Narbzers. Quexi Fazudia. Is he talking about vacuum? Oh, he's just talking about he's going to clean up. What's <laughs> Rob? This guy is butt naked. He is Butt naked, sitting on a bar stool. Butt naked. Don't be swear. This is not Zil Nabe. Yibs, yibs. Fun sil your dress. Please do me out of the way. He was naked. No problem. Victor told her to put some clothes on, and he was like, nope, I'm gonna just drink my beverage. It's naked. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Victor said to him, he went, took a sip of his beverage, <laughs> slapped him upside the head, and pulled his drink out again. <laughs> oh my gosh! Action Sabun! Evil has no chill. 
He Murdo is low chill. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, he has no chill. Going, huh? He has no chill. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of the mischiefs for the night. I think we're going to call it a wrap. It's about, what is it, 1 o'clock, 1.24 or 12.24 in the morning. It's, it's late. It's late. Dude's going to go home. But before he goes home, he's going to stop and have a conversation with his imaginary friends. Because <laughs> that's how Emu rolls. Hot dog. Do you not know? watch you. Hot dog. Hot dog. I still don't understand why you make it. I still don't, Find I still don't understand why dude is naked. I don't know, maybe he was going outside to take a swing in, in, in the rain or something. I don't know. It, it, I, I think it's highly unlikely since he stood there for a while. <laughs> and that's a wrap, folks. We're going to tune in next time. And hopefully we'll have this mystery solved and understand why Himu is naked. Thanks for joining me. It's so along for this ride. Until next time, bye-bye now.